right. Well, welcome to a brand new show called Crossover Outdoors. And Crossover Outdoors is where you're going to get your local information for those destinations that you're going to fish, maybe hang out with your family while you're there and all that. So it's going to have gear, camping information, local attractions, restaurants, breweries, and a couple other things that are in the area. I want to welcome you to the show. Those that are here for the first time, go ahead, give us a like, a share, and a comment over in the comment section and let us know what do you guys think about the show and what do you want to see if there's something new out there that you want to see while you're out there traveling. So like I said before, we are here as a brand new show on the Paddle and Fin Network. We are excited to see what's going to happen over the next couple episodes to see how this thing progresses and goes. So let's say you're getting ready to take off and you're going to go on an adventure and you don't know anything in the area. You can almost consider me as your travel guide or your host of the area. And I'm going to be working with local tourism boards and be talking to some local anglers throughout the year. Uh, some individuals that are all about the area and things to do outside of fishing. What? Outside of fishing, but we're going there to fish. That's right. You are. But sometimes you're taking your family with you. Sometimes you're also going out there and you just need other things to do besides just sit in your campground and do absolutely nothing all night. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about Polk County, which happens to be the very first KBF stop of the season, the very first tournament of the season throughout the KBF. And then on top of that, we are going to discuss a little bit of some of the nuances of Polk County and specifically Lake Wales in the Kissimmee area where you guys are going to be. So let's go ahead and let's get this thing started and bring in the map of the area. One of my favorite tools to use is always Google Earth if you need to find anything that's going on in there. So we're going to do a little fly in here and find out exactly where we are going in Polk County, Florida. That's right. Let's do a little fly in here and see what's going on. Polk County, Florida is a very large population. It's kind of stuck in between that Tampa Bay area and also the Orlando area. You have Lakeland there, um, Bartow. Auburdale, Davenport, Haines City. You've also got Lake Wales, which is where the KBF tournament trail stops going to be in a couple weeks. And then you also have Frostproof. So there's a lot in this area of Polk County. And, and specifically in the Lake Wales area where you guys are going to be for the very first trail stop. Now, Lake Wales is home to Bach Tower, and also a couple other places that I'm going to show you here. But it's also in Dan County as one of my favorite destination, fishing destinations, and that is in Lakeland, and that is the Tenor Rock Salt Mines. Tenor Rock is hands down one of the coolest places that you could go to, about 28, 30 lake, different types of lakes in that area that you get to fish from. Uh, you go into the Tenor Rock Fish Camp fishing uh management area and then you get to go and get a tag and then you can go to all sorts of different lakes there is a ton of different type of fishing there and on top of that there's also a ton of restaurants in that area not too far away from there so one of my favorite places in lakeland to go to is ford's garage great atmosphere cool setting also has a lot of amazing brewery brews and also the food there so ford garage is not too far away from the main gate area in Lakeland. Now let's make our way down into the actual Lake Wales area where the event is going to be taking place. So Lake Wales is home to one of the coolest things that I think is also jump Florida skydiving. So if you get a chance to do it or you've got an adventurous streak in you you could go skydiving there and it is one of the coolest things because you're actually way up high you can see almost both sides of the state when you drop into uh the airport there so it's a really unique uh atmosphere when you can see both sides of the state when you're up in the sky falling down towards earth Maybe back in my younger days, I would have done something like that, but not in my older days with the family and my wife and everything else. But yeah, so we are going to zoom in a little bit because this particular event is taking place in the Camp Mac area. Let's get over to the Camp Mac area. And Camp Mac is uniquely placed in between the Kissimmee chain, in between Kissimmee which is right down here, 
Lake Kissimmee, and also Lake Hashinata. I can't say this one. I'm sorry. I have to totally apologize. But Camp Mac is an RV camping place. They also have cabins there. If you wanted to get in, you can get, uh, get scheduled. So Camp Mac, you have uh, places that you can rent there. They don't have too much camping, like primitive camping or campsites that you go to, but it's really an RV lodge cabin type area so they do have some of those things available you can go to the camp map website we're going to bring that up in a little bit um just wanted to show you a little bit of the camp mac area there's only one way into camp mac for this particular event and it's on camp mac road that goes all the way down past lake rose lee then you have to take this back towards the main highway here which is went blank for a second the main highway that takes you straight into Lake Wales. When you go into Lake Wales, there's a lot to do there. There's several restaurants. There's a, you have a Walmart right there. You also have the, uh, the uh, facilities for uh, restaurants, many shopping plazas on, on that main drag. And then you make your way into the downtown area. And that's where you get a little bit more, unique where you get the unique coffee shops and the bistros a couple of different breweries that are in that area they also have bach tower that's down there i always think bach tower is kind of unique because it looks like the seeing eye of saruman and lord of the rings and yes i pulled a lord of the rings reference out and it is really cool because you can see it from distance and it always does look like it's looking at you and we're going to show you that one here in just a second on the tourism site there's a lot to do besides being in the Polk County area. You're right in between Orlando and Tampa. So if you wanted to had family, you can get up in the Orlando area. There's a lot of housing and a lot of places that you can rent up in that area, or you can go over to the Tampa side. Just kind of think that if you're in the Lakeland area, Lake Wales area of Polk County, it's going to take you about 45 minutes to an hour to get to some of the areas and on I-4, if anybody knows, I-4 has horrendous traffic throughout the season. So you can spend two, three, four hours sometimes on I-4 if, if there's an accident. So you want to make sure you have everything taken care of and understand where you're staying. Now I want to show you a quick video from the tourism board. And then I'm going to come in and show you a little bit of the significant pieces and parts of what Lake Wales has to offer. second but it is the sweetest spot in the state because it's smack dab in the middle there's a lot of things you can do if you have got a lot of time on your hands you can head over down to miami in the area you can go down to fort lauderdale west palm beach travel over to fort myers hit tampa kind of make your way around ocala there's a lot to do because it's centrally located right here in the state so visit centralflorida.org. You can see everything that you need to uh, get for the area. It has all the information of art and culture, attractions, family fun, the gardens and parks, which is where Bach Tower is in Lake Wales. You have hiking and you also have some unique, cool things for you pick farm to table and different types like that. So when you're at on the website, you're going to come all the way over to the top here and you're going to hit cities and towns it's on the far right right underneath the logo there and you can pinpoint the exact area that you're going to be so for instance we're showcasing lake wales so you're going to go all the way down here to lake wales and you're going to hit the learn learn more tab 
This learn more tab is going to bring everything you up to some of the hot spots of Lake Wales, which is just about 25 minutes away from the Camp Mac area for this uh, invitational KBF trail stop for the year. And it takes 25 minutes to get there from downtown Lake Wales to Camp Mac and roughly anywhere between 15, 17, 15 to 17 minutes on your lake that you choose to get to Camp Mac from those lakes that are allowed. And while you're here on this site, it's going to give you information on Legoland, which is right in Lakeland, not too far away from Lake Wales. Then you have the Bach Tower, which is a really cool place if you've got your wife or you're just out kind of wanting a different change. When you're doing your pre-fishing, you want to take a day kind of just to travel around and see different things. Bach Tower is a great place to go. Stop off at the Palmetto Cafe while you're there. Every Saturday night at the Westgate River Ranch, they have a rodeo. So that's very unique and a lot of fun. You go out to the ranch and the ranch has also got some camping and different things that we're going to show you in just a second. And then you can also go down here and it's going to tell you about some of the features, the key spots for Lake Wales. So for instance, the Lake Wales, a great place to stay is the Westgate River Ranch Resort and Rodeo. And yes, that is one of the glamping sites that they have here at the ranch. So you can just click on that image and it's going to bring it up. You can stay in stagecoaches. Everything's climate controlled. Uh, they have teepees, stagecoaches. They have yurts and huts. And everything is control temperature controlled. Uh, heat, if it gets cold by any chance. Um, they're luxury teepees hotels, and cabin rooms, and they are unique. They're very, very well done and well thought of while you're here. They have all the features that you need. It has its own restrooms, has its own showers inside of it, climate controlled. It's got its own little refrigerator if you're there. It would be fun if you took your uh, significant other and you hood, hang out there for a little while. It's a unique, it's a very unique place to go and check out. And then there's a tons to do on the ranch. There's, a, you know, archery, rock climbing, and you can go horseback riding, go to the, go to the rodeo on a Saturday night. They've got connections with airboats in that area, and they also have dining there. So there is a lot to do just on the Westgate River Ranch right there off of the main road just outside of Lake Wales. Let's go back up here to the top and make our way over to some of the other things that we're kind of getting into. And so now I'm going to talk about my four major features that what I looked at when I go to travel to another area. Obviously, is lodging. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about some food, some good food, some amazing food that's not too far away from Camp Mac. So you don't have to stay just at Camp Mac. You can actually get out and enjoy some things. We're going to talk about one of the my favorite and most of the Floridians favorites in that area is uh, a, a bait shop and then some of the other little things that are there. So let's talk about food. We're going to talk about food because that's number one on everybody's part. You, you need to know where you're going to go eat. So we're going to talk about Cherry Pocket Steak Seafood Shack. I love this place. This place is from the front gate of Camp Mac to the front door of this place. It's only seven minutes away from the area and it is unique it, when you go you can drive right past it you don't even know it's there the only way you're going to know it's there is if there's a ton of cars in the parking lot and when there is when it's in the when they're in the parking lot like that that's when you know you've come across an awesome place and it's got a unique outdoor setting the bar atmosphere is great it's got live music going on in the evenings it's always happening there is always something to going on there and they have catfish tuna salmon scallops anything fried you can think of amazing sandwiches they have also a salmon uh, sa seafood salad that is uh, uh just everything that i've had there to eat is great so the black and tuna is awesome there they just got a really good vibe all the wait staff completely friendly bartenders are on point they have the best carrot cake that you could ever have as a dessert so you definitely want to make sure you have your dessert there and a peanut butter pie 
I mean, who doesn't like pie, right? Like pie is really good. So peanut butter pie right there is awesome. So you want to go to the seafood, the, excuse me, the cherry pocket steak and seafood shack, which is exactly seven minutes from the location there. Let's talk about the lodging in the area. Camp Mac is in the area. They also have the RVs, RV and they have lodge and cabins. So that's a great place to go. But not everybody can afford one of these really nice resorts or go and stay at the Westgate Ranch Resort and Ranch. We've got camping. So in the area, not too far away, they have one of the state local parks on Kissimmee, which is Kissimmee State Park. And Kissimmee State Park has a lot with a lot of the tourism. And for that local area, there's a boat launch there. There's also unique opportunities to go hiking in that area. So let's get that screen up here so you guys can see and enjoy. So right here, you can look up uh, Lake Kissimmee Towns. It is right on the water. It's a massive state park that is on the main drag on your way out. So this is uh, Camp Mac Road, as you can see, going pack, past Lake Rosalie. Then before you get to Camp Mac, there is going to be an entrance for the state park. When you go into the state park, they have a lot of trails and a lot of unique areas. You're going to be able to see deer and all the amazing is quite good. They have camp campsites in the area that is primitive campsites. They also have hookups for RV, electrical, and everything. Just a really cool place. Like it, it's got a lot of a, a, a unique atmosphere and different things that you can do while you're just inside of the park. And as you zoom in, there's also a boat launch that's in the park. If you're staying there, you can launch out the canal and head out into the north end of Lake Kissimmee. Camp Mac is right over here. You're down here in Lake Kissimmee State Park. You can use the ramp and go out into the north part of the lake so you it's a lot of options there you can go to the website go to the website and you can pull up that information um you can give them a call they have let's see, make sure i i'm gonna make sure i tell you the right stuff so they have hookups for about 60 campsites that are available with water and electric pump stations are located nearby it's located in hammock that provides tons of shade and buffer from a little and park amenities include the boat ramp the marina as well as a, as they allow pets in the area campers make sure you're aware of the occasionally being on the holiday weekends and boating noise on the weekends maximum recreational vehicle length is 55 feet so if you got anything bigger than that you're gonna have to go somewhere else and reservations can be made up to 11 months in advance Give them a call. Find out what they've got going on. Um, they may be, they may have sites open, but this is the time you want to get that. If you haven't already thought about going to one of the campsites, this will be a really, really cool place. And you're within minutes of being at the Camp Mac area for all the other activities. One place that I want to show you that is the fisherman's dream that you need to go to while you're there, whether it is just to walk around or you need something to fix on your kayak, you need to go to the Bridge Masters Fishing Store. They call it the Fisherman's Candy Store for a reason. And this place is amazing. It is the Disneyland, the Disney World of fishing. They have everything that you can almost possibly imagine at this store um don't let the looks deceive you on the outside it is not worn down torn down or any bit um a place that is shady it is legit the best place so the fisherman's candy store if you go in they have all sorts of products i mean almost every product that you could possibly imagine they have everything from dial reels all the way to 13 fishing in almost anything that you can think of any type of bait that they that they have that you could think of it to have throughout the country they have all the major brands there they have a huge assortment of fishing rods and, and poles 
that you can get. The bait goes on forever from hard baits, soft baits, custom baits, bulk baits. This is the coolest place you go to. You remember those, you know, those bins that when you go to the grocery store, you stick the little scoop in and you put a bunch, you can go in there and do that here. You can got bulk baits of every color that you can imagine in this gambler. The, the rows and rows of baits go on forever at this store. I have gone there and spent literally two hours just kind of walking around and doing whatever I want in there, spent over a couple hundred dollars easily in a heartbeat. Um, but there's everything you can imagine. You, if you have parts that you need for your Minn Kota or your motor guide, parts for connections, let's say something ruins, uh, you need a, a breaker or anything, they've got piece parts for that. This is some of their bulk section that they have uh, at the Fisherman's Candy Store. I mean, who wouldn't want to go there? Thermal tackled for your for days in there. I consider this better than some of the box stores out there. It is a awesome place to go. This is what I was talking about when it comes to marine products. Let's say you have a tail light, tail light out or a light out. You can go get your products there. But Bridge Masters Fisherman's Candy Store is the best place to go to in that area for fishing supplies. You got to go there. You probably go there three, four times if you're there for a long week. You're, you're most likely going to go there for all of your needs. And it, the cool thing is, too, it's right across the street from Walmart and like Tractor Supply and a couple of restaurants in that area. So you can actually make a good afternoon. So with every episode, I am going to do my top two places that you need to go to when you're in an area. Top two. That's right, two. First place you need to go to is the Cherry Pocket Steak and Seafood Shack. It is a must when you're in the Lake Wales area. You have to go to this place. Awesome atmosphere. Take some buddies with you. Take some friends with you. Take your family with you and go to that restaurant because you're going to have a great time there and the food is delicious. Second place you have to go to while you are in Lake Wales and that is Bridge Masters Fishing Candy Store for Anglers. Like I said, it's the best place to go to. You, it is. It has everything. It has tons of things you didn't even think of and might even buy a couple other fishing rods or something while you're out there. So go to those two places. That's my top two recommendations for the area of Lake Wales and Polk County. I want to thank you for joining us. This is going to be like a once a month. As the season starts to progress, we're going to start seeing more and more shows, but there's going to be more and more travel opportunities. If you guys have any suggestions that you want to see an area that you uh, are traveling to, Put it in the comment section. Let me see what you guys want to see, and then I will dig down deep and try to find all.